In 1813, the war had been going on for about a year now. The war that was to be the last time that these two nations fought each other. The Americans and the British fighting this time on what is now Canadian soil. The British had built an imposing fort on the banks of the Niagara River. This was a key entry point for the Americans if they wished to invade Upper Canada. In May of 1813, the British had about 1,200 troops stationed at Fort George, some with their wives and children living in the fort. My name is Private Peter Fry. I have been stationed here at Fort George with my wife and daughter for three months now. I have made friends with most of my fellow soldiers, but soldier life is strict and demanding. We wait, ready to meet the Americans at any time and defend the land that we have come to call home. We wait for the battle to begin. plan was to capture Fort George and use it as a base for an invasion of Upper Canada. For this purpose they had assembled a significant number of troops, 5,000 facing 1,200 British troops. The Americans began to carry out their plan on May the 25th, 1813, with a bombardment by cannon using red-hot shot, which started many fires and did much damage, disrupting the British defense. Nevertheless, the Americans hesitated for two days before launching the attack on foot. When that happened, however, the British were forced out into the open to confront the Americans in the open field. Remember, these were not battle-hardened troops, and they had their wives and children behind them in the fort. They would naturally be looking both ways towards the enemy, of course, and the fight that they must engage in, but also worried about what was behind them and thinking that they really should go back and look after those people they had left behind. As we march into battle, I can only think of my family. I have never been so scared, but it is their freedom that gives me strength. I know that we will be together again soon. Focus, Peter. This was a very difficult situation for these relatively young, inexperienced British troops, confronting vastly superior numbers and a long way from home in conditions which could not possibly have been familiar to them. Hi. We're greatly outnumbered. They have almost five times more men. I left my wife and daughter at the fort until this was all over, and I know that I will see them again. I have to. I must keep the Americans from getting to Fort George. face of overwhelming numbers and the complex worries that they faced, retreat became the only option. Our defense has fallen and it seems inevitable that the Americans would take Fort George. I must return. I must save my family. The British were finally forced to retreat and abandon the fort. The Americans took control and searched for survivors, which included some of the women and children and both wounded and unwounded troops. The Americans have taken the fort. I told my wife to hide in the powder magazine if anything were to happen. I must get there. I wonder 
how many fellow soldiers have fallen and how many families have been torn apart. I wonder how many lives have changed since this battle began. How did we get here? Only days ago, I was with them, thinking of a new future together. A new future for our child. Focus. You're almost there. The women and children had been hiding in the powder magazine, which miraculously, considering that the building was filled with explosives, was the only building to survive the bombardment of two days before. It looks like the Americans aren't here yet. My family must still be in the powder magazine. I have to get them out of here. I... of 1812 to 14 ended basically in a stalemate. But that was all that was required to preserve the opportunity for the Canadian nation to evolve. For the Canadian story, the men who died in that war did not die in vain. Visitors to Fort George can experience part of that war and understand its place in the eventual Canadian story.